a little late start today uh, it's like nine i think i wanted to be here by seven but better late than never right so let's just fast forward to the spot and we're here it's a little windy i'll be honest it's a lot windy so i might not stay here too long but i at least want to try this little cove over here and put the water wolf in there so hopefully i can give you guys some good underwater footage today too the jetty underwater footage was amazing hopefully today will be the same so let me set up i'll rig up You'll see some underwater footage today, hopefully. Sweet. So I'm just testing out the waters before I throw the water wolf, you know, get my confidence up. Going throwing green pumpkin. I think like three inch, 3.8 inch. It's relatively calm today compared to the last couple times I was here. Again, the only thing is, is this wind. It's like eight to 10 mile an hour. Broke off entirely. Awesome. Yeah, this looks spot. Spot change. So with your Kitex, when you use them too much or you get a bite or something, you tip like the tip, where'd it go? It is, it like breaks. So if you cut it and you can still use this Kitex for at least a couple more casts, and the fish will go for this. Let's see. Let's see if it does. First cast. <laughs> Green pumpkin. Oh, it feels good too. <laughs> I got him way out there. First cast, could be a ling, let's hope it is. Oh, it's a ling. Looks like a keeper too. How am I gonna land him? Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Oh, that's not a creeper, but it's still a ling. Uh, actually, nah, could be close. I'm all snagged up right now. Hold on, buddy. Let me get my uh, tape measure. Uh. That was the first cast of green pumpkin. Probably some pliers.
Definitely not. He is. 19 and a half. A little update, been casting for about an hour now. Wind's really, really picking up. And we're just gonna go home. Or try to find a new spot that has better protected, but I have no bait, of course. And I mean, the water's perfectly smooth and you can totally do swim baits, but that wind was really killing it. There it is. I was about to leave and I got a nice but oh my god. Oh my god. This is a big one. This thing is pulling drag. Come on. Get up here. Has to be a ling. Has to be a ling. Oh my God. Please, good God. Lord, do not break. There you are. Oh, yes. Woo. Oh my God, barely hooked. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fucking plot twist. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. That's a keeper if I've ever seen one. Oh, they're fish in its stomach. I didn't touch it because it really smells, but oh my god. He had a completely other fish in its stomach. A couple of it actually. Yeah, no, that reeks, man. Let's get that out of here. Oh man. He lost his belly. Wow. I'm just, I'm still amazed. So I caught him on, or her on this tiny, tiny little Kitek. 
a little tiny two inch Kitec. They ripped it, of course, ripped my Kitec, but I think I could still use it. I'll throw it one more time, see if anything else bites, but wow, what a fight that was. I did not expect it to pull so much drag. Oh, I almost, I kind of almost want to cry. It's such a beautiful fish. But a big, eating a big fish like this every once in a while is it's not a bad thing. We apologize to my brother already because I know he's going to be mad that I took this fish. He likes letting the big ones go. All right, let's go home. It's so hard carrying this stuff up by yourself, especially when you have a big fish. But if it means good footage for you guys, it's worth it. Oh wow, I'm so out of shape. Come on, get out of there. It's stuck. Now, time to go home.